Hey everyone, welcome to Data Science Galaxy. Today, I would want to talk to you all about an all important topic of data types and types of data management skills. I am Manjunath. Let's get started, shall we? Please watch this video till the end. For definitive information on data types and types of data measurement skills, and it will be completely worth your while. Let me at the outset say don't just do data science, be smart and excel at it whatever you do please excel at it don't you want to do that i'm sure you all want to do that let's continue in the world we live in can you escape from the data or for that matter avoid data i don't think so world is ubiquitous with data and we cannot simply escape data or avoid data so what i'm trying to get at for effective data analysis and decision making, understanding of the data is paramount. May I also add, understanding of the data is imperative and indispensable. So given this, it is imperative to understand what are the various data types and types of data measurement scales for any data scientist before embarking on the data analysis. In this video, I'm going to cover data types and types of data measurement skills. Let's get started deep diving into the details. For example, regression, it could depend on the scale of the measurement itself. In this slide, let's just look at and understand types of data measurement scales and start with the nominal scale. Before we talk about nominal scale, nominal data could also be called qualitative data and other name is also categorical data. Nominal scale or variable refers to basically names that are qualitative in nature. It is used for simply labeling the data. Some of the examples are, one could be from a finance domain or from a HR domain. One's marital status could be married, divorced, etc. Let's move on to ordinal scale. Ordinal scale is nothing but a variable which derives its value from an ordered set of data, which will be basically recorded in the order of magnitude. For example, I could use a Likert scale to do a survey to capture the feedback of my viewers for this video on a five point scale, which is finite. What I could do is then to ask you to rate my presentation in this video on a scale of one to five, where one is poor, two is average, three is good, four is very good, and five is excellent. So here, what we want to know is simply five is better than four that means excellent is better than very good two is better than one that means average is better than poor what i cannot say or does not make sense is this i cannot do an operation like two minus one that means average minus poor is simply meaningless and does not make any sense to do such operation let's just move on to interval scale here the variable gets its value from a defined interval set some of the examples for interval scale are IQ score, intelligent quotient score, and temperature measured in degrees Celsius. Here, arbitrary zero point is applicable. Basic arithmetic operations are possible. However, ratios simply do not make sense. For an example, I cannot say an object at 60 degrees Celsius is not twice hot as an object at 30 degrees Celsius. It simply doesn't make sense. However, I can say that an object at 60 degrees Celsius is 30 degrees Celsius more than 30 degrees Celsius. That makes sense. Distance between the attributes or objects can be measured. That is about interval scale. Let's go on to the ratio scale. It is the highest level of a measurement scale where ratios are meaningful. That is an important point to note. Most of the variables falls into this category most variable come under this ratio scale. All arithmetic operations possible and it will have a fixed zero point. Some of the examples are sales, demand, price, etc. For a comprehensive understanding of the topic, data types and types of data measurement scales, please click the i button up there and I'll also leave the link in the description box. Thank you everyone for watching this video till the end. If you have not subscribed already to my channel, Data Sense Galaxy, please subscribe right away. Huh? You don't want to miss any upcoming videos, so hit the bell. Good luck and happy learning. This is Manjanath signing off. 
Bye-bye and take care. I'll see you in my next video.